the year is 2014. Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis have just won four Grammy Awards for their album, The Heist. Pussy Badass has just been released from prison. 50 Cent has just left Shady Records. The hip hop charts are being dominated by Eminem and Rihanna's single, The Monster. And Travis Scott is a few months from releasing his debut album, Rodeo. While all of this is happening, somewhere in Paris, France, two brothers, Tariq and Nabil Andro, are about to release their first single. At this point, no one has any idea that within three years, these siblings, collectively known as PNL, will come to dominate the French rap scene and become one of the most popular hip hop acts in French rap history. Tariq, also known as Ademo, and Nabil, whose stage name is NOS, were born in the late 80s and grew up in the difficult neighborhood called Les Tartere in Paris, France. At a young age, the boys witnessed their father serve a jail term for bank robbery. They grew up in the absence of their biological mother and they were around colleagues that sold drugs. These things laid the groundwork for a lot of the subject matter that they would tackle in their music later on in life. As of August 2020, PNL has released four studio albums and have sold millions of copies of their music as well as hundreds of millions of streams on various streaming sites. The question is, how does a group of unknowns catapult itself into the musical stratosphere? Firstly, their music is really dope. They have an ethereal cloud rap sound that's almost dreamlike. Sonically, the music is appealing even to people who don't understand the French language. Their beats are melodic, their mix of singing and rapping has mass appeal, their subject matter is captivating and risky, and their mixes sound hypnotic almost like they're pulling you in. They have a sound that's easily identifiable and unique to them. To be a great artist, your product has to be good. After all, it's what you're selling and it's what you build everything else around. Good music sounds good regardless of what language it's made in, and PNL's music is a great example of this. Some of their music is easy to digest and contains subject matter that people can relate to, making it appealing to a lot of people. Their overall message is also a strong one. PNL popularized the term Cœur la Famille, abbreviated as QLF, which means only the family. The term simply means that you would do anything for your family and loved ones, and you don't look for any other allies. This message is plastered throughout all their music and has a certain appeal to it, because most people understand the sentiment of wanting to do anything for their family. They also make references to pop culture, anime, popular children's stories such as the Jungle Book and various topics that are easy for many people to relate to. Most importantly, they talk about the hardships of growing up in a tough environment and the struggles of feeling forced to do things that are unethical or illegal in order to feed yourself and your family. This is a universal message that most people understand. And because of this, many people feel that PNL is one of the most relatable groups in French rap today. Another reason why the group is so successful is that PNL doesn't oversaturate its music. The two brothers release an album once every year or two, and that's it. They don't release mixtapes, loose singles, EPs, or feature heavily in other people's music. Once a PNL album is out, fans know that they have to wait a while until the next one. So in effect, they cherish and listen to that project until the next one comes out. There's a saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder, and that's part of the psychology involved in the group's approach to not oversaturate themselves. This leads to the next reason why the group is successful. They don't saturate themselves on social media, blogs, music sites, the internet, and all sorts of media outlets. They have an artistic mystique about them. They are kind of reclusive in a sense, which helps to create an aura of mystery around them. This approach has been proven to work for many artists in the past, including the likes of Michael Jackson, Prince, and most musicians who were active before social media. In more recent times, this approach has worked for the likes of Jay-Z, Nas, Eminem, Beyonce, NF, Kendrick Lamar, Dr. Dre, and J. Cole. 
In effect, whenever these artists release their music or make a special appearance, it's seen as a big event. Scarcity is a big factor in driving up the perceived value of something. PNL doesn't even do interviews, they let their music speak for itself. Lastly, all things taken into account, it's probably not a stretch to say that PNL's strongest point is their storytelling ability. This is the glue that holds the music, mystique, and message together. They have mastered the art of telling stories through visuals. Their music videos are cinematic and almost like miniature movies which leave you captivated and in awe. We first got a glance of their eye for cinema in the 2015 singles Ooh La La and Le Monde Au Rien, which have well over 80 million and 100 million views respectively on YouTube. Their storytelling prowess was elevated further when they pieced together a story that spanned four of their singles from their second album, Dans la Légion. Their 2019 album, De Frey, brought more cinematic videos in the singles A l'Ammoniac and the title track De Frey, as well as O Dede, which is their highest viewed video with over 150 million views. Storytelling is one of the most effective ways of creating a connection with people. And through their mastery of the art, PNL has managed to capture the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. They have broken multiple records in their six year stint in the music industry and have created a legacy that many people dream about but very few ever achieve. In so doing, they have become the modern day undisputed kings of French rap. Well, that's it for this episode. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more content from the Hip Hop Circle. And like our page on Facebook. See you next time when we enter the Hip Hop Circle. Peace.